It's been a very rough week for Fox. And that is Fox News media analyst Howard Kurtz acknowledging reality. Judge Eric Davis imposed a sanction on the network, said he would likely start an investigation of whether its legal team withheld evidence and would very likely name a special master to handle that probe. That's right. Heading into the defamation trial, Fox is under investigation for violating courtroom rules and withholding evidence. Abby Grossberg, a now fired Fox producer from Rio Bartiromo, who has filed a separate lawsuit against Fox, said, in a filing that she had audio recordings of Bartiromo pre-interviewing Trump lawyers Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell. Dominion accused Fox of withholding that evidence, but a Fox spokesperson said the network didn't even know about these tapes until March 20th. In other pretrial rulings, Judge Davis undercut part of Fox's defense. The judge said Fox News cannot argue that it carried false allegations of election fraud by Trump allies because they were newsworthy, Judge Davis said. Just because someone is newsworthy doesn't mean you can defame someone. Fox also contends that other network hosts and guests told viewers there was no convincing evidence that the election had been rigged. But the judge said you can't absolve yourself of defamation merely by putting somebody on at another time to say something different. In other words, heading into this defamation lawsuit, Fox's own media analyst indicated the channel's in trouble. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. The Dominion Voting Systems lawsuit against Fox has been described as the media defamation trial of the century. I agree. It's huge. And right from the start, there's been drama. As Mediat reports, the trial got off to a bumpy start for Fox News, the cable giant that has already been battered in pretrial hearings by the judge in this case, when Fox News communications executive was escorted out of the courtroom for taking a photo, a strict violation of the court's rules against recording. A source told Mediat the Fox exec misunderstood the rules and hastily deleted the photo after taking it. Our judge, the Honorable Eric Davis, tanned, rested, and witty, addressed the incident to the assembled lawyers and press, noting that he was told someone was recording in the courtroom. Davis warned the court there are certain rules in this courtroom, my rules. The protocol order will be strictly enforced. If you violate the protocol order, you will be escorted out. He continued before suggesting he favored a more draconian penalty for such rule violations. I think you should be something else, but... Dominion is suing Fox for $1.6 billion, though the jury's damage award against Fox, if Fox is found guilty of defamation, could be much higher. All of this stems from countless instances when Fox hosts who knew the truth about the election promoted and teed up wild and false conspiracy theories that Dominion had rigged the election. Here's an example. President Trump won by not just hundreds of thousands of votes, but by millions of votes that were shifted by this software that was designed expressly for that purpose. It was calculated. They've done it before. We have evidence from 2016 in California. We have so much evidence, I feel like it's coming in through a fire hose. In fact, there was no evidence, not even a trickle. Internal Fox emails show that hosts called Sidney Powell a lunatic and said her claims were nonsense. Some of these hosts, though, continued to give a platform to false claims about the election. And when a few other Fox News anchors pushed back on the air and reported the truth, those journalists were reprimanded by Fox News management because management feared that telling the truth would cause some Fox viewers to abandon the channel. In other words, smearing Dominion and engaging in fraudulent election claims was a deliberate and calculated Fox News business strategy. In response to the defamation claims, Fox has repeatedly insisted that a Dominion victory would go against First Amendment freedoms and have a chilling effect on all news organizations. In my view, Fox is not a news organization. It's a conservative propaganda machine. Furthermore, when it comes to the First Amendment, the courts have long held that free speech does not mean you can yell fire in a crowded theater. What Fox did is yell election fraud and thereby cause our democracy to get trampled. If there is any justice, the jury in this lawsuit will crush Fox News and order the channel to pay out billions of dollars in penalties. That will send a clear message and actually help news organizations in America by reminding them that their role is to find and report the truth and enlighten viewers and readers, not mislead the audience through deliberate and outrageous lies. Speaking of lies, House Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene is in some trouble again, this time over a national security fight with Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. And for any member of Congress to suggest it's okay to leak classified information because you agree with the cause is terribly irresponsible and puts America in uh, serious danger. Green responded in juvenile fashion and is now getting ridiculed for it. Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.